Hello and welcome. I am Arun Kumar from Beautiful Mind Eyes. There are several students of psychology who dislike biological perspective. I just want to add one note on that thing. That if you love psychology, if you love watching behavior and understanding behavior, your understanding of behavior will not be complete if you do not take into consideration the biological perspective. For example, suppose one person is behaving in an incoherent way, what could be the possible reason? You can say this is a personality disorder of the person or person characteristic is like that you can say. But sometimes brain shrinkage that is called brain atrophy is also a cause of that thing and this has been discovered in the case of schizophrenia. In post-mortem this is revealed that such people have ventricle, uh, their pressure is more because of shrinkage of the brain and that causes that kind of inconsistency and irregularities in behavior. So see this thing. Likewise, if you want to understand one person is uh, suffering from mood disorder, very low in mood, you can think of many frustration and reason, but if you ignore the medical reason that that this person might be having serotonin dysfunction. So, if your understanding will not be complete. So, depression could be understood from composite perspective and medical perspective is one of the important reasons. Get it? So many things are there where you need to consider biology. You know this thing is of, uh, sorry, uh, Alzheimer's disease is a cognitive disorder where memory is severely affected. That disorder, it has been discovered that brain chemical acetylcholine is abnormally low in the person suffering from Alzheimer's. What do you say? So, one possible factor in Alzheimer's disease could be what? This biological thing. So, we must have knowledge of basic biological things to understand the biological explanation of something that I am giving example. So, if you are a student of psychology and if you want to enjoy psychology holistically, then you there are several perspectives like behavioral perspective, psychodynamic perspective, cognitive perspective, but do not forget one important perspective that is your biological perspective. It is also called psychobiological. So, I hope I made this point clear. So, next time when you 